Well, congratulations on the film. It, it's an emotional roller coaster, and uh, and I think it has such a positive message behind it. Wow, thank but you. Um, we live in a surreal time where our science and and even faith is questioned by even our leaders. So, what does uh, this film bring to the table in telling uh, a bigger story? Yeah, I mean, you know, listen. In the medical record, relative to this story, it says patient dead, mother prayed, patient came back to life. That's that's in the record. Facts. That's that's not uh, you know our interpretation of facts. Uh, that's not the family's interpretation of facts. That is literally what the doctors themselves say happened. So the beauty of this film is that it speaks for itself. And even for the skeptic, the skeptic is still going to have to wrestle with the facts of the of what happened to John and Joyce. And that's why we wanted to portray it pretty much exactly how it happened. That's incredible. Like when you yeah. and and the thing is, it's crazy. It only happened a few years ago. Yeah. So from from the actual incident happening to the book to the film, that has to be one of the quickest. Kind of like turnarounds. <laughs> yes, a miracle. A miracle. Totally. Yeah, a miracle. Um, but this movie is not only a breakthrough uh, for for the story, but it's also a breakthrough because this is the first Fox film distributed by Disney. Um, did did that have anything? Uh, did that help or, with production at all? Did it hold anything up or anything? No, because the deal just the the Disney Fox deal just closed literally just a few weeks ago. So uh, up until a few weeks ago, it was distributed by 20th Century Fox, and when the deal closed, now Disney is uh, you know distributing it, but Fox still has. Um, you know, the the, the, the uh, searchlight's still gonna be on it and yeah. the moving logo and whatnot. So we actually haven't really felt the impact sure. of Disney uh, on the film. And, you know, our team at Fox has really been amazing and given yes. us the opportunity to make the movie and is, you know, still overseeing the distribution of it. Yeah. The uh, lake scene was intense, visceral, and, and it's crazy to watch. Can you talk to me about the direction of, of that scene? Because it seems like such a such a crazy, like, setup. It looks so real. Everything looks so real. Wow. I'm so glad you said that. It's amazing. It wasn't real. Uh, <laughs> no, it involved actually shooting two days out on a real lake, on a real frozen lake. In Canada, right? And in Canada, in Winnipeg, where we were majorly sub-zero temperatures, like oh. way below. Yeah. Um, it was very cold. And then we had three days of shooting in tanks, uh, uh, a very deep tank for the underwater stuff, and then a more shallow tank for the water level stuff, you know, for the rescuers and when the, the kids were half immersed. And all of that had to be put together with all of our different departments, knowing, you know, where each shot was gonna come from. It was carefully storyboarded and um, stitched together and with some wonderful visual effects, we were able to achieve it. But it was, it was really thought through and um, I think every second of it had been thought through. Uh, Steph Curry is a producer on this. Yeah. Um, how did he get involved in the project? Um, you know, I've been making films for a long time. I've been in Hollywood for over 20 years, and you know, he and I met, and he really wanted to get into Hollywood, and wanted to do uh, films that could do faith, family, and sports. And so I was like, man, look, read Breakthrough. John Smith is a basketball player. It deals with family and it deals with faith. And uh, if you're interested, I'll make you an executive producer. And so he read the script in a day, and reached back out and said, I'm in. And so I brought him on board in the same way that he, you know, leads an all-star team with the Warriors. You know, I really wanted to lead an all-star team with Breakthrough and having Roxanne on board and Chrissy in the cast and now, you know, bringing, uh, you know, Stephen Curry on board. It just helps amplify this message and really positions us to win uh, when the movie comes out at Easter time. Um, we see in cinematically nowadays that there's a lot of movies that have superheroes in them, but this has a lot of real life heroes in them. Yes. Um, what can people take away from that? Because I love the, the, the kind of supporting characters. I love the doctor. I love yeah. Tommy, yeah. you know, Pastor, John, Pastor Jason, I think is great. Uh, but what can people take away from uh, these real life heroes? They can take away that they can do it too. Now, listen, I don't mean to burst anybody's bubble, but you can't put on a suit and fly around the city of New York and, and blast. To, <laughs> no. you, know, you can't do it. Wait, you can't do it, man. But you know, you can't just put your fist out and things just fly out of them. But you can pray. You can love. These are real superpowers. Joyce Smith is a real life superhero. So the thing about Breakthrough is that what you see on screen, real life people can do. And I think that's why the movie takes on another level, another meaning, especially in a time where people are looking for heroics. Breakthrough puts that on display.